Hey, what's up? This your boy, Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about Drake. Now, we don't talk about Drake often, you know? He kind of stays out of all the drama. He stays away from all the beef. He stays away from anything that isn't about being successful and getting to the bag. But it seems like there's a lawyer in Florida who has it out for Drake and not in the best way because there is a murder case going on right now for the slain rapper XXX Tentacion, who lost his life in a horrible way, man. He was actually shot while shopping for a bike. He ended up getting killed by some guys who are fighting for their life right now in the trial. And one of the guys has even testified to say that, yes, they're the ones who committed this murder. Now, what's wild about this situation is there's been a whole bunch of theories about what led to XXX Tentacion losing his life. You even had a friend of his who came out and talked about his last moments. And when the guys pulled up to shoot him, he asked him, what is this for? Like he didn't know what was going on. He felt like he didn't have any enemies or anything like that. But this was more than just a simple robbery because they ended up shooting him and trying to take his money, right? Now, before we get to this news story that just broke, talking about Drake being subpoenaed, then blocking that subpoena with some armed guards, do me a favor, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and man, let's get it. Okay, now let's talk about this news story for the Miami Herald, man, that talks about what's going on in Florida with this XXX Tentacion trial and Drake being thrown in this, man. This is wild because Drake is at that status in hip hop where he's at the elite of the elite. I mean, he's been there for a very long time, won an artist of the decade for the last decade. Dude is really at the top of entertainment. You know, he's one of the most famous people on earth right now. And I ain't just riding his jock. I'm just talking about facts or numbers or what's going on out there, right? So for him to be pulled into a murder investigation is big news, man. So let's talk about exactly what they got going on and they, they're accusing Drake of in this situation. So it looks like Drake was subpoenaed because there's some theories out there that he had something to do with the death of XXX Tentacion. And you see in this headline, it says Drake's armed guards block subpoena to testify in XXX Tentacion trial, lawyers say. Now, I've heard that rumor and I've heard a whole bunch of different conspiracies and they vary from the wildest things that you can imagine to some of the most simple situations that you have in your face. Like it's obvious that somebody took XXX Tentacion's life and I doubt Drake had anything to do with it, man. This is craziness almost. But there's a lawyer who felt like he had enough information to go and say this in front of a judge and a judge who felt like he had enough information to go ahead with this and push forward for the subpoena. Now it starts off by saying this, the legal effort to have acclaimed rapper Drake give a deposition in the murder trial of XXX Tentacion escalates as the superstar used armed guards to block a subpoena to testify. According to a motion filed Friday in Broward Court, lawyers for the defense seek to aid in serving him and again want competent charges if he doesn't show. So you have the defense attorney for one of the guys who's being accused of shooting and killing XXX Tentacion. He wants Drake in the court to testify, which is wild, man. And I can understand Drake's frustration with this. I mean, I'm not super famous like him, so maybe I can't understand. But for somebody to say, yo, just randomly throw you into a murder case and then have you subpoenaed. I mean, does he want an autograph? Like what's going on here, bro? And then you got to factor in for the most part, Drake keeps a clean cut image. You know, he keeps a clean cut demeanor. He's man, a list of the a list acts, all that does all that. Right. So even being drugged into this could be a problem for him. So the story continues by saying Broward judge, Michael Eusen already vacated an order on Tuesday that aimed to compel Drake, whose real name is Aubrey Drake Graham to give a virtual deposition on February 24th. The order would have added the threat of possibly being held in contempt of court if he did not show. Drake already missed a January 27th deposition. So it seems like they've been trying to get Drake in this case hard. And this, pause on that. But it seems like it's coming 
from this defense attorney for one of the for the, one of the people who were being accused, right? Now the story continues by saying defense lawyer Mauricio Padilla, who is representing Dedrick Williams, one of the three facing robbery and murder charges, still retained the power to subpoena Drake to testify in the case after Houston's Tuesday order. Now what's crazy about this situation, I'm surprised that the judge is letting this fly. You know what I mean? It would seem like unless you had any really good evidence that would put Drake into this case, that you would just say, nah, man, that's that's ridiculous, you know? Who are we gonna, we're gonna get Denzel Washington in here next, or Michael Jordan? Like, if you want an autograph, say you want an autograph, dude. Bruh. Now, it also continues by saying this. On Friday, Padilla issued a motion to the court to have it again require that Drake give a deposition on February 24th or be held in contempt given fruitless attempts to try to serve the rapper and his legal team. Judge Houston will likely see the motion on Tuesday next week after Monday's court holiday. And it seems like he won't even accept the subpoena. Like he's not taking this seriously. He doesn't want to be bothered. And what's crazy about being a celebrity and a star, you learn that they get sued all the time. I'm talking about not like, oh, they get a lawsuit maybe once or a year, maybe one every five. No, I'm talking about like all the time. People come up with wild ways to sue celebrities, like all the time. Some of them are warranted, man. Some celebrities and some people in the music game, they do stuff where they need to get sued and need to pay money. You know what I'm saying? That, that happens. But sometimes these things, and more than often it seems like these Lawsuits seem frivolous, man. They don't have any base. They don't have any documentation backing them up and stuff like that. So, you know, it's just, hey, this could be uh, frustrating for somebody who's probably been through this several different times. I'm sure, you know what I mean? Especially at Drake's level. Now, the story continues by saying, Padilla wrote that Houston told Drake's attorney, Brad Cohen, and him to mutually agree on a time and parameters that worked for the rapper to give the deposition before quashing the order. Well, it looks like maybe the judge really isn't on board with this. Seems like he's not on board with this. So let's look at what he says next. Now in quotes it says, the court explained the importance of balancing the rights of the defendants to investigate this first degree murder case properly with Aubrey Drake Graham's privacy issues. The motion read, it was clear by the court's ruling that he expected for the parties to work together and that despite entering the order vacated that he expected the deposition to take place. Now what's wild about this. I can't believe that they really expect Drake to show up to this court case. I, I, it's hard to believe that, but let's continue. Now Padilla wrote in the motion that Cohen refused to accept a subpoena for Drake to testify on February 14th, a servicer, tried to serve the subpoena to Drake in California, but was met with armed guards at his home, the, the motion read. So basically, Drake's armed security did their job. They was like, okay, who are you coming up to here? Yeah, I'm trying to serve Drake some paperwork. Nah, he's, he's not here. Or, no, you come back another time or whatever. You know what I'm saying? He's probably already even told his armed guards, like, yo, man, if somebody comes up here trying to serve us a, a subpoena, don't take it or, you know, or just shoo him away because that sounds like what happened here. Now, I'm not saying that Drake did anything illegally in this situation. I'm just saying that maybe he's got buffers there to where he doesn't have to deal with any type of just frivolous lawsuits or any type of people just coming up to a bother him for anything. You know what I'm saying? Now, the guards closed the gates on the servicer who tried to post a subpoena instead, but a guard kicked it down the driveway. Not being able to serve Drake, they instead tried to give it to the guards, but were again refused the motion read. So basically, they hired a process server, right? And this guy, he's trying to give this subpoena to Drake. So that way it counts as, yes, Drake has been served. He got the subpoena. We have it on record, right? Now we can push to the judge that, yo, if he doesn't show up for even the virtual deposition, we could try to hold him to something legally. And his guards wouldn't even take it. They're like, man, rich people, they probably already know the deal. Like, they armed guards probably already know. Like, yo, man, just don't be taking anything from anybody because you might be holding me legally liable for something. So as they did, they said, nah, man, we're not taking anything. You, you got to get off the property, man. <laughs> you know, the guy with the money is paying us.
Now in quotes it says, nope, no one is expecting anything. Whatever is left, we are trashing it, one guard said. So they basically said that nobody at the residence is expecting anything or any type of delivery. So if you leave anything, it's going in the trash. Letting it be known that we are not taking this on anybody's behalf. We're not taking it on the house's behalf. We're not taking this on Drake's behalf. So man, it sounds like his guards are doing what they supposed to do, if you ask me. You know what I'm saying? Now, it also says Padilla's efforts to have Drake on, on the stand come from a social media feud between the rapper and XXX Tentacion. Now, this is where we get into all these conspiracies, right? Because Drake and XXX Tentacion did not see eye to eye before him passing away. Now, what does that have to do with Drake being involved in his shooting death? I guess they're trying to paint some sort of picture or connection there. But man, let's actually look at what's really going on in this situation, man. Let's talk about the real deal in this, right? And it's as simple as this before I finish out this story, right? For XXX Tentacion in court today, Robert Allen, one of the men charged in the killing. Now here is the real story of what's going on, man. Now this was only two days into the trial. It's way further along than that. But even in the second day, you had this guy on the stand testifying that him and his friends were the ones that shot and killed XXX Tentacion because they wanted to rob him. He even pointed out the other defendants and one of the defendants that's being defended by this, this lawyer Padilla. So let's listen. Took the stand. Allen is not on trial now. He is facing second degree murder charges, but is cooperating with the prosecution. Detectives say Allen and the other three men ambushed the rapper who's yeah, every time I see these guys, I can't stop and, without thinking, how dumb are you? Like, they were on every camera in the world, man. They tried to rob somebody in broad daylight with cameras everywhere. I mean, it was a nice bike shop. Like, it was like you had to have money to be there. You think that the people who own that building aren't going to have cameras to watch every inch of that place but because of their investment? And then cameras on the outside in case somebody tries to get away with a bike? Like... These guys, bruh. bruh, these guys are the world's dumbest criminals. I swear, man. Like, I can't even see. And then, okay, it's one thing to rob somebody. Like, people get robbed, right? Still a dangerous situation, still a, a crime, nothing good about it. But to shoot the man, you know what I'm saying, that you're robbing? Like, what? what? World's dumbest criminals, man. I'm just saying. Bruh. But let's continue. Real name is Jose Onfroy outside of a bike shop. And look at him. Look at the clarity of that camera. Look how well they are being caught. You know what I mean? Deerfield Beach. Surveillance video shown in court showed the moment Allen says they decided to rob him. All right, so that's that. And that tells us all we need to know. You already have one guy on the stand admitting that he was, he was the bigger guy, right? Already admitting that him and his friends were the ones responsible, right? So let's end the rest of this story. Now, the story ends by saying this. A month before his death, XXX Tentacion referenced Drake in an Instagram post. And in quotes, it says, if anyone tries to kill me, it was at Champagne Poppy. The rapper later claimed his account was hacked. So they're even going on to say that people took that for a fact because XXX Tentacion posted that prior to him losing his life, a month before he lost his life. And they're saying that, yo, he even said, that he was hacked. He came back and said he was hacked. So, man, I don't know why they're going off on this, trying to put Drake in this case, but obviously, man, it's making headlines. Now, this spurred unsubstantiated internet conspiracy theories linking Drake to the murder. No evidence has connected Drake to the murder other than him being added to the witness list in December. As first reported by the Miami Herald, Padilla and Cohen did not give comment on the newest motion to testify. So it looks like there's a battle between the defendant's attorney and Drake's attorney. And I think that's Bradford Cohen. He's well known throughout hip hop. And it looks like he's like, man, you have nothing here. Leave Drake alone. And Drake and his team are all on board like, yo, bro, I don't want to have anything to do with this or even be involved in this. So leave us out of this. And it seems like, man, the defendant's lawyer is pushing because he wants Drake there for some reason or at least wants him virtually. You know what I mean? What do y'all think? There's a lot of conspiracy theories out there. Let's keep it real. Do y'all think that Drake would really have anything to do with this? Or do you think that he's avoiding this subpoena, having his guards turn these people away, 
Number one, because that's their job to do that. And number two, because he doesn't want to be involved in the situation at all. Tell me what you think in the comments, man. We out of here, man. This has been your boy, Big Man. Do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And make sure you hit that notification bell. So that way you get a notification every time I drop this hot content. And we out of here. Peace.